for today's video, we are going to a very renowned, iconic restaurant here in the middle of Waikiki, and we're taking guys along with us. Looks like a lobster. Can you guys see that? Epic views, and guys, the sunset today is amazing. We ordered the dessert. You guys wanted us to try the hula pie. Don't go anywhere yet, okay? Stay tuned. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day so far. And if you guys are new here, I'm Amanda, this is Felix, and we are a foodie couple that's born and raised here on Oahu, and we take you guys on all of our foodie adventures. And before we get into today's video, we want to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is Waikiki Malia. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, and we wanted to mention that they are smack dab in the middle of Waikiki, closest to all of the establishments, the popular restaurants, really close to Waikiki Beach, and an awesome launch pad for anyone who wants to do a staycation or a vacation in the middle of Waikiki that won't break the bank. And it's starting to rain. <laughs> I feel like it always starts to rain when we start filming. I don't know why on our filming days, but you know, with drizzle comes a rainbow, guys. Stay positive. <laughs> and Waikiki Malia is really close to a lot of the businesses, a lot of the shopping, the restaurants, super ono grind. So if you guys want to stay there and if you guys want to be close to all of the action, make sure you check out Waikiki Malia. And thanks again to Waikiki Malia for sponsoring today's video. And for today's video, we are going to a very renowned, iconic restaurant here in the middle of Waikiki. And we're taking guys along with us. And hint, hint, the restaurant is actually named after the ambassador of Aloha, the father of surfing, and you guys will come along with us. Oh yeah, can't wait for the awesome grinds. All right guys, let's get going because it's starting to rain. Rainbows are popping up everywhere, <laughs> but we gotta go because our reservation is coming up soon. Oh, and we have some special guests. Oh, so stay yeah. tuned, you guys will meet some really special people. So stay tuned for the whole video. And if you have not already, also hit that subscribe button. Did we say that? I don't know. We're the worst but. vloggers ever. But anyway, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel. It's down below underneath this video. It helps us out a lot. Help us and support us by hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this type of video, us showing you around all the Ono grinds of Waikiki, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into today's video. All right, let's get going, guys. It's starting to really rain now. Ah! As you guys can see, we are at Duke's today and I really wanted to show you guys this place because every time someone asks me where they should go in Hawaii, I always say Duke's. It has a very, very memorable, nostalgic feel for me, especially because I've grown up coming here since I was a really little kid. My parents would take me, my mom, I'd come with my friends. When I turned 21, this is like one of the first bars I ever went to. So we're super happy that we could show you an iconic local spot here in Waikiki. Very famous, needs no introduction. And if you guys haven't been to Duke's, this is the perfect video for you. So it looks popping. 
Our reservation is soon. We're waiting in line to check in. So we'll see you guys when we get inside. We finally got seated, so that was a good thing. A little mix up, but we're here now. And uh, we'd like to introduce you guys to very special guests of ours. And these are the special guests. That's my little sister. That's my stepmom. And that's my dad. <laughs> Y'all wanted to meet them, so there you guys go. So, dad, say hi to the vlog. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> and that's my stepmom Donna. And that's my little sister Tabitha. She's shy guys. <laughs> He's doing contact tracing and we just got seated and we are at Duke's and guys look at this view. Literally beachfront, oceanfront dining at its best. Let me do a head count of some of our specials and I'll let you know uh What's going on this evening? All right, sounds good, thank you. And we did want to say thank you so much to Dukes for hosting us today at this restaurant. We are super excited, and this is literally like an iconic moment for us, literally. <laughs> and some of the seafood that the sword usually eats. And then my personal favorite are the three, the Futakaki Ayu steak, the seared yellowfin tuna, this really nice chili oil and unagi glaze, right around that super buttery cut of fish. And add a bit of sweet, savory, definitely some kick off the back end. Moving over to the land section, we just added that teriyaki sirloin. Quick marinade, five to six hours, gonna soften up that top sirloin. Very tender piece of uh, steak, as well as a mini chicken, Hawaiian rotisserie style. We also have this really nice uh, salad bar, you can add it for five dollars to any of our entrees. Well, first things first, you guys want something to drink besides ice water? Duke's blonde. Duke's blonde, that's all. Yeah. 21. What's up? 21. <laughs> More than 21. Okay. Five times. Uh, check the ID. Yeah, really good. Can, can. How about gray hairs? Check that too. Oh, we're getting plenty of guys with that. That's coming back. You know, like, five months, five months. <laughs> can I do a virgin? Yeah, virgin of course. Oh, it's just, uh, I think it's rum. Yeah. Rum. Yeah, rum. Lime juice. Pineapple. What are they known for? Oh, well, I got the Duke's Blonde. Yeah, Duke's Blonde, that's like their namesake. So I'm mad that I got that and beat me to it. So I got the uh, the vintage Mai Tai. You know, cause what could be better than a uh, drink with an umbrella in it? Yeah. <laughs> umbrella. Yeah. yeah, so if not, it's not a proper Mai Tai. At least not in like the Yeah. Gotta be. So yeah, guys, they used to have this drink called the Back Scratcher. It's literally like a goblet. I don't know what kind of alcohol it was, but it did have a whole back scratcher inside. If you guys don't know what that is, that's that wooden stick with the curvature at the end. That's not used to rake leaves with. It's used to scratch your back with that itch you can't reach, you know? You dig it in. But yeah, unfortunately, they're out of scratchers, guys. So we got the Mai Tai and uh, other things. You guys will see when the drink comes out. <laughs> I told you guys, it has to have the umbrella, trust me. Just makes it taste that much better. Alright, how's the beer? This is the Duke's Blonde Ale. Delicious. <laughs> it's really yeah, light, yeah? Light tasting? Yeah, smooth. Actually, yeah, actually, actually very flavorful. <laughs> Comes with a lime, I mean a lemon. Oh, yeah. Fruit and beer always makes it more refreshing. And of course, Amanda's Lava Flow. No alcohol on this one, guys. This is the D Square tonight. How's that? Just as I remember it. <laughs> this was my go-to as a kid. <laughs> it's in like a tiki kind of glass. You guys see that? It looks scary, at the same time inviting. I don't know. <laughs> that boy a try. Oh wow, that's nice. Despite the color, it tastes like fruit punch. I don't know, this drink is scary in itself because I don't know where I'm going to end up. I have too many of these. Well, you can't even taste the alcohol. It just tastes like fruit punch, guys. We're still deciding on what to order. So as soon as we get those in, oh man, I cannot wait. They did say the prime rib is the special of the house, but we got that last time we were at Hula Grill, so I'm not sure if we'll get the prime rib. Maybe Amanda's dad will get the prime rib. The big fish sounds really good, so stay tuned, guys. We'll see what we order. 
So guys, I don't know if you can hear me because I usually talk a little soft, so I'll, I'll have my mic right over here, <laughs> sorry. And of course for dinner, there's live music, you know, so we'll try to talk with all the, we're enjoying the live music as well. So the reason why we decided to show you guys Dukes is because Dukes is a very iconic restaurant here in the middle of Waikiki. And as I said before, it's named after the one and only Duke Kahanamoku, who is the father of surfing and the ambassador of Aloha, who actually grew up surfing these very shores that this restaurant is on. And also, fun fact, us too. <laughs> We've been going to this restaurant since I was a kid, literally playing on the sand, playing in the beach right over here. So I have a lot of memories here at Duke's. I even came here when I first turned 21. I'll have maybe some pictures to show you guys. But When she first ordered the non-virgin <laughs> version of this. Yeah. <laughs> and the really great thing about Duke's is they have a bunch of Hawaii regional cuisine here. And it's right on the beach. You have ocean view, ocean view dining, live music and even Henry Kamono every Sunday plays here live so still playing every <laughs> Sunday guys if you don't know who that is make reservation for Sunday trust me you won't be disappointed a lot of hits a lot of awesome jams so the atmosphere and the theme of this restaurant is they want to encompass surfing and the spirit of Hawaii and show all the people that come here what true aloha spirit is and and guys, Dukes is a really great place for tourists and even locals. So us locals come out here, enjoy the view, enjoy the scenery and the awesome pina colada, mai tais. They even have the hula pie here. So you guys know we're definitely getting that tonight because we missed out when we went to Hula Girl. And if you guys have not seen that video, make sure you check it out. I'll leave it up in the cards and down in the description. So check out our Hula Girl video. We did miss out on the hula pie. Definitely getting that today. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy a lot of our food. And oh, I forgot to mention, Duke's also has breakfast, lunch, dinner. They even have, I think, like a prime rib buffet. Oh, they actually have a weekend all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah, so if you guys so, are interested in that. I forgot to mention one of Manos Humble Hula Grill. If the view looks familiar, mm -hmm. yep, it's the Hula Grill's right upstairs. You got the awesome view of Diamond Head. The beach is right, literally, like, feet away from the location, so, you know. Have yourself a nice meal, enjoy yourself at the beach right after. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, Duke's is located in the Outrigger Hotel. Same place that Hula Girl is located in, right on Waikiki Beach with epic views. And guys, the sunset today is amazing. Yeah. Literally, cotton candy skies, Hawaii fashion. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you guys when the food comes. <laughs> it's a sister takeover time here. You want to take over? Yeah. She's still a teenager, y'all, so she's a little bit awkward. <laughs> Hi. There's nothing really to talk about. So, yeah. Even before we got in there. Yeah, so she's about half my age, guys. <laughs> I remember a funny story. People used to always think that she was my daughter and my dad it's was like a grandpa. Highly <laughs> so it's like, like and a lot of you like guys were level. asking me about my family. Like and like yeah, my dad is Chinese Korean, so local Chinese like though. Kill, I think I'm like about fifth area. generation. We can ask him a so little that, later. Uh, I mean, and on the bar, really, uh, the fish special we have on our side and on the bar side, we have like kettle uh, uh, bento uh, bento uh, bento bento uh, special Thursdays, Saturdays, and Thursdays. You guys can hear me, it's a little loud with the live music going on. We just got a bunch of appetizers. Uh, we got four of their most known actually. So we got coconut shrimp, panko crusted, fried calamari, some sticky Korean style ribs, and crab wonton with cream cheese, guys. Kind of like the one at Panda Express, but a lot better, I'm assuming. My appetizer sampler platter. Right I want to try the coconut shrimp first because it's been forever since I had coconut shrimp. Look at these jumbo juicy butterfly shrimp. Thank you. Dang. Mm. How is it? I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the best coconut shrimp I've had so far. Mm. It's really good. They say this is like a touristy thing to order, but I don't care. This thing is really good, guys. Very juicy, very, like, it's huge, guys. The sauce is kind of like a sweet chili sauce that accompanies it. The panko is really light, very meaty. Like, it's almost like. If I had my eyes closed, I would have thought this was a lobster tail. That's how meaty this thing is. It's really good. So, Dad, what did you just eat? I had the crab uh, one done, cream cheese. Was it good? That was good with the with the, the dipping sauce. Awesome. Did you have the calamari? 
Was it better with the red sauce or the white sauce? Red sauce. You like the shrimp? Oh, this does taste like very huge, like a prawn, like a gourmet prawn. The batter is very light and it does look like, look at that. Looks like a lobster. Can you guys see that? Oh, it's hoisin sauce, Dad? I think so. Oh, yeah, it is hoisin. The one that goes well with the cilantro. Yeah. It's like very Asian flavor. I don't know if it's really Korean flavors because hoisin is like more like well, maybe, Chinese. Maybe, maybe it's uh, not hoisin, but maybe it's I thought uh, it was gochujang. Well, gochujang maybe. Yeah. Oh. Guys, look at the background. Look at that sunset. It's so gorgeous. And also guys, we forgot to mention, but on the crab wonton, it was like some kind of chutney sauce. Very, oh, very strong that. chutney. This is the calamari, fried calamari. It came with a marinara, what is that, cocktail sauce? And maybe, like yeah, it kind of tasted like a cocktail sauce. And then this is like a, like a rel, no, what is this called? Like a aioli relish? Huh? What is that called? Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Oh my god. The tartar sauce is good. This calamari is very, very meaty. Not tough or rubbery at all. Oh yeah, it's only like five dollars extra. And then they said it's like. Yeah, just give them a little bit more. Very good, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that looks good. That's what my dad got. Oh, oh that was actually what I was going to order. <laughs> the exact thing. I was going to get filet mignon and uh, yeah. add on the lobster sauce. Oh, Oh, it's unreal. Awesome. So Dad, what'd you get? Filet, medium. I'm hoping it's garlic mash. Maybe maybe just regular mash. Uh, oven roasted, uh, twisted lobster tail. We call that the, uh, the, ma the makai and the malka. Like I was saying, Ben and Dad got what I was going to order. But, oh man, that looks good. The makai malka platter. Awesome. So I got the fish catch of the day. Herb crusted. Looks like with lemon caper sauce. Um, they call this a jasmine. Faro rice? I don't know what that is. Let us know in the comments. What is faro? F-A-R-R-O. Not sure. But well, it looks like some uh, cherry tomatoes. But yeah, it looks very healthy. Trying to bulk up, you know, lean bulk. So guys, what I got was the coconut braised seafood, which has lobster, shrimp, fish, mushroom, spinach, and it comes with a side of rice with a little sprinkle of furikake. And you guys know I love anything coconut, so had to get the coconut braised Seafood. How is your <laughs> fish? Very awesome. Onolicious. It's gone already. Partially seared, flash seared, ahi furikake. And Donna, your huli chicken, how is it? Very tasty. Nice and saucy. <laughs> and Dad, how is your steak? Very good. I'm going to do my third bite, medium rare, cooked cook nicely. Garlic mashed potatoes. Uh, two in my lobster. And fun fact guys, my dad used to be a chef a long time ago. So if he says it's good, you guys know it's good. Oh, he's cutting the lobster right now. Ooh, the lobster. That thing looks like a lobster dynamite or something. Oh, with Ooh, butter, oh look at that butter. clarified butter. Oh man, even the butter pool. Oh, Bonos? very good, very good. I'll be back here tomorrow. <laughs> what? Yeah, you'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> That's what we locals call winners. Yeah, guys, that was crazy. So we're posing for a thumbnail. And we're just like looking at the angle of the camera and like all the sauce off my plate fell. Still learning, guys. <laughs> New mistake. But anyway, sorry if the lighting is bad. It's uh, nighttime already, so right under the, the lamp. Yes. You know how I feel about the sun. So I got the catch of the day, which is machang. It's like they lightly battered it in panko with this lemon butter, garlic, caper sauce. Oh, it looks amazing. Mmm. Mm. 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 Mm
server, Kevin was saying, it's nice and flaky. Really clean fish flavor. I know I say clean a lot, but when you guys have like really fishy, like strong, like fish taste, you'll know what I mean when this is cl considered clean. Oh, I got way ahead of myself. I didn't even squeeze the lemon on here. Though. Oh yeah, we got all the chihus going on. So you know, there's some locals here tonight. Oh man, this one looks really good. It's like a seafood bait. What is it? It's a braise. Oh, a seafood braise, guys. With a side of rice. So guys, I got the seafood braise in coconut milk, and you guys know I love coconut. Had to get this. Has a nice fish, some mushroom. Flavor is very good. Very good, thank you. I love that fish. It's very sturdy, not overly like soft or flaky, cooked to perfection. The hit of umami with the mushrooms. There's even lobster, shrimp, prawns. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, it's like they're almost done already. Yeah. <laughs> but I did want to try their teriyaki sirloin oh, rice, medium rare, cooked to perfection. So this is going to be a little bit tougher. This is the sirloin. It's what it's uh, like Kevin was saying, quickly marinated five hours in like a teriyaki style sauce. Oh, this is good work. It's like a pineapple, I don't know, pineapple onion kind of people de gallo. It's a little bit sweet with the pineapple. Very nice teriyaki flavors. Mashed potatoes are good too. It complements it nicely. I just like that there's a nice crust on the outside. You know how I love my meats with that Maillard reaction, you know, that nice crispy crust. Oh, this is it right here. No, no, you want to try these? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted you to enjoy the flavors. Sorry guys, Amanda doesn't like the big pieces, I forgot. It's really flavorful guys. That piece was just too monstrous. I had to chew it off camera. Ooh, the mashed potatoes are pretty good. They're kind of sweet. It's uh, they use Yukon potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a, a small piece because that was just way too big. Tabs, you want, you want to try the fish? It's good. Okay, this is my ideal size of pizza. That's perfect. The sear on that is perfect. I'm just gonna try some of the fish here. It smells very coconutty. Oh, wow, this is like green curry. See basil here, a lot of things going on. That's spinach. Oh, spinach. But that was basil. I assumed that was like, like green curry, you know? Oh, what? When you're eating curry, you gotta have some of that rice in there. Oh. So I'm gonna try the herb crusted, what was it called? Matcha. Matcha. Very flaky, not too like, not too dry. Very good. That sauce is pretty good. I don't know what the sauce is, but lightly battered too. It's a uh, lemon butter garlic caper sauce. I love capers. I'm telling you, you put that lemon garlic butter caper sauce on anything, I'll eat it. Should have put down the steak too. Super good, guys. We'll see you guys when the dessert comes out because a lot of you guys got mad at us for not trying their famous dessert on our last video at Hula Grill. So it's coming, guys. It's coming. All right, Dad, what was your favorite thing so far? The lobster tail. <laughs> oh, it was so good with the with the drawn butter. And this one was uh, um, oven. I, I believe it was oven baked. So a little bit different. Yeah, broiled lobster tail with the drawn butter. It was really good. Okay, Tabby, what was your favorite thing? The pog slushy and probably the mashed potatoes. What was so good about the mash? Let us know. It was better than everything else. <laughs> it was creamy and flavorful. Oh, very good. Thank you. I think my favorite thing was actually one of the appetizers. I really liked the coconut shrimp and the calamari it was really good. I liked my dish as well, but it had a hint of ginger, which I didn't realize had a ginger hint in there. So it was good for having the ginger in there, but I think the coconut, if it was a little stronger in the coconut flavor, it would be perfect. The seafood was great too. My favorite probably have to be the Mai Tai. Just Ooh. joking. <laughs>
I actually like the teriyaki sirloin. That was really good. I was surprised. The, it had a really nice crust to it. A lot of places, when you marinate meats and you prepare it in such a way, it, sometimes there's it's almost like soggy, kind of. I want to say soggy, but my steak had like, yeah, like mushy, like I'm not as I was saying, mushy. But <coughs> my steak had a nice crust to it, which I really liked. I really liked the uh, catch of the day, ma chong. It's not the prettiest fish, but it, it's pretty darn tasty. The lemon caper butter sauce, garlic butter sauce, that was amazing. And yeah, the coconut shrimp, because I was like mini lobster tails. Pretty much, that's how meaty it was. We ordered the dessert. You guys wanted us to try the hula pie. It's coming out soon. So we'll see you then. Don't go anywhere yet, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. I know, maybe next time you guys come back, we'll have our specialty hula pies. You know, we usually have like a flavor of the month pre-COVID, but oh. unfortunately with everything going on, we kind of had to downsize a little bit. Like the, the, the OG. Right, that's the original hula pie, macadamia nut ice cream, nice Oreo crust, a hot fudge, a little more macadamia nuts and a whipped cream skirt. You know, typically we'll have like a specialty cookie dough ice cream, they try the chip, Girl Scout cookies when that's around. I say we can't beat the classics, so I enjoy that. That's true. This pie is modeled after Diamond Head. That's that's the that's how big this thing is. Look how look how huge this thing is. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, this is like a whole liter of chocolate syrup. Oh goodness. That mac nut, guys. Oh my god. Like just you. You don't want tap? Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, what happened there? Guys, let's look at this mess we got ourselves into. Jeez. We are failing all night tonight. Oh my god, that's freaking nasty. All right, Kevin, yeah, take it easy, man. Dang guys, that was a lot of filet mignon, a lot of Tristan lobsters, a lot of jumbo <laughs> shrimp. Well, let's just call them mini lobsters. Thanks again for tagging along with us today at Duke's Waikiki. That was an awesome, amazing experience. And we want to give a big shout out, Waikiki Malia. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. And we want to give a big thank you to all of you guys out there who are supporting us. Every single video, without your guys' support, we could never get any of these sponsorships. So truly, truly thank you so much. And of course, big shout out to the staff at Dukes. You guys were awesome, all amazing. Special thanks to Kevin, our server. He was funny. Thanks, bro. <laughs> that was awesome service. Um, thank you to Chris for making this happen because there was a little mishap in the beginning, miscommunication, but he tied it all in. And of course, thank you, Marissa, again, for making all this happen. And if you guys enjoyed this type of content and you guys liked meeting my family actually for the first time, so happy, so joyful that I can finally share my family with you guys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really means a lot to us. It really helps out our channel and it really helps our channel grow as a big ohana. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, consider subscribing to our channel. It's located right below this video. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. It really helps our channel grow. And I know you guys want to be a part of our foodie ohana. So hit that subscribe button. Also guys, comment down below. What's your favorite dish at Duke's or what's your favorite memory about Duke's if you visited? If you haven't yet, what would you like to try? What, what did you see today that was so amazing? It's just mouth watering. So comment all that down below. And we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, until next time, peace out. Bye guys. Try not to all the shit I'm just saying because I don't want the, the camera to go. You're the one shaking the table the most, bro. You're, whenever you're going like this, the table is shaking. Oh, yeah, right. Tattles all they go. <laughs> Everyone's arms came off the table. Yeah, it is bad. Oh, your food! Your food! Oh, shit, my food. <laughs> it's really a great place. You got any questions so far? How this app started? I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt.